the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take hey shit, guys, I got to no the new video of AG Framework today we are going to install the DevHub GG present. DevHub SkillTree version 2, and it is the exclusive version of SkillTree. So first of all, you need to visit their official TBEX website. I'll provide the link in description after reaching the website. You can see the multiple tabs over there. Click on the exclusive version here. You can see the exclusive version. Click on the script. First of all, this script provides you the SkillTree generator specially. It's a separate script also included with the exclusive version. For this script, you can add your own skill system and own script integration without any issues. And also it supports like 44 unlock able skills across 15 unique types, also strength, combat, and many more. Also, you can do the path-based progression without any issue. Also, you can do the custom unlock conditions and seamless integration. Both of the scripts are there. So you don't have to worry about the customization on your script. So first of all, click on the Add to Cart button after adding it. You can see, I already added in my basket. Click on the Checkout Dev Hub. GG provided some special coupon code to our exclusive customers. Make sure to join the Discord and avail the discount. Also, I will provide you the discount coupon code in description after availing the discount. Provide your all necessary details and complete your purchase after completing your purchase. The script will be received on your Key Master ID. Here you can see you will receive a total two script one is the skill tree. One is the skill tree generator. Both are only exclusive version scripts. So first of all, you have to download both of them. Also skill tree, the DevHub GG, all scripts are required. The DevHub lib, it's their dependencies. So make sure to download the DevHub lib. Also, I'll show you everything and provide you the link. Also click on download. Save it to your computer. Same goes to the generator. Save it to your computer. After that, visit their GitHub website for the DHub lib. Click on code and download the zip and save it to your computer. After that, open the file and extract three of them. After extracting three of the scripts, you need to copy them and paste it to your main server directory. As I am pasting it here. After that, rename the live, then open the main skill tree script here. You can see the multiple configurations are there. So first of all, you need to install the SQL, open with Visual Studio Code, copy the code, open your head, SQL, select your database, create a new query and hit run. It will automatically settle into your database without any issues after that. Refresh your tables and you are good to go. Close your SQL file. Then open the configurations. You can see the multiple configuration, but I'll show you directly the main configurations of the file. It's the basic skill configurations, skill Elua. Here you can see the all skills details. You can add your own details also. First of all, it's the skill list. You can see the personal categories are there. You can directly change them or add them based on your configurations. Also, you can add or redo the images section. Also, the icons, you can add your own custom icon without any issues. So after that, close this file, open the main Lua. Here is the main configuration of the file here. You can see you can open your skill tree in various version. It's the basic command of skill. You can directly trigger this or you can directly false this to disable the command section. Same goes to the binding. It's defaulty configured with F7. You can directly disable the binding doing with false and also you can trigger it with item. And same goes to the event also if you wanna open it through any type of radial menu or any type of menus that you want to then you can directly use this trigger to open the skill menu. After that, you can see the skill boost level. You can set the float based on your system and server. After that, you can see the base XP of each level. You can select the base XP of each level, like its default is selected 200 for each level. You can select it to 150 on your base system. Same goes to the base XP. Like you can select the base XP in Scree, based on the server and your play base system after that points for one level. You can select the point that required for one level creation. You can also select the multiple point in our exclusive version, especially same goes to the close UI on death. You can make it true always after death, the UI is automatically closed. Also, you can select the HP, regain timeout, same goes to the generator. It is the main thing is if you are using exclusive version, 
you need to enable the generator. It's default enabled. Make sure to see this out. Also, the generator works and provides you the special features like you can edit or re-add any type of skill or customize your server with additional skill system based on your needs. Here is the XP regain system running, swimming melee driving. It's the default configuration. You can add your MO, add your own system without any issues. You can also enable the debug to see all the triggers. Same goes the XP restart system, XP cache system based on your server needs and you can also set the max level for the players or for the personal kill. And you can provide anyone based on the personal license system. You can provide anyone max level on your server without any issues. You can select the melee based on the system. Same goes to the skill differ. You can select the different value of skill system. After that, you can disable the default skill effect. The skill system has some special effect when unlocking it, you can also disable it or add your own effect without any issues. So after that, also you can use the unlock handler skill. It's the basic thing that you can use for the handler for the skills. Like you are having any weapon or not. If you are having weapon, then you can directly see the chat message or notification based on this trigger event. You can directly do it from the skill tree configuration server, main.lua without any issue and seamless experience with exclusive version. Make sure to purchase the exclusive version. After that, here is the XP catcher limit. You can select it as you want. I'll suggest if you don't know what you are doing, don't do anything. It's default configured and selected with your framework system. So after that, just close the main file. You don't need to change anything. Now open the language.lua. If you are using any type of different language other than English, you can directly change it without any issue. Also, it supports multiple languages, so don't need to worry about the language. Also, now we'll open the next file is the server main.lua for the configurations. You can see all the web hooks are there. If someone trying to do any type of trigger or suspicious activity, you can directly provide the web hook here and you can find them who is doing it. And also it's provided default anti-cheat based on your skill system with the basic trigger. Close the configuration. Your configuration is done. You don't need to change anything. Also, if you are one, if you want to change CSS or anything like that, you need to go to the HTML section here. You can see the color.css are there. You need to open it with Visual Studio Code. You can change the colors without any issues, and you can customize your own skill system with your own color and combination. Based on your server string, you can see all are open and color cases is open properly. Without any issues, you can directly change it. Also, you can add your own sounds based on your server needs. That's it. We don't need to change anything. It's defaultly configured and worked without any issue. You can also config the JS of your script that I don't recommend you if you don't know what you are doing. So I'll provide you not to do anything about that. Still, if you are having any issues, you can find the documentations here. You can directly double click them and open it without any issues. Here you can see the documentations are there. All the basic configuration also told here that we told you already. You can also see the previews of the config. Also, you can see the all basic needs and working principles are explained pretty well. So don't need to worry about that same. Go to the development section. You can see the all licenses parameters and client event and add trigger with the expose system are there. You can also see the permade skills are also given to you for the best experience. After that, you can see the skill generator app. I'll show you now. I'll show you the skill generator script. Here is the skill generator script. First of all, you don't need to change anything in this skill generator. It's automatically worked through in game. So I'll show you how it's work in game. Here you can see, first of all, make it true as we can. As I told you, you need to enable the skill generation feature based on the configuration that we've shown you already. And after enabling it, you can see the extra menu has popped up on this side of your skill tree that I show you in game properly after that. You can change the colors. You can see the default themes. You can change it easily as your needs still if you are having any type of issue or having any type of question how to open the menu or how to earn the XP how to give a specific person a specific XP. You can open the ticket or follow the proper documentations. You can find all the questions and answers without any issues. Now let's see the devoblib. lib. So open the config Lua. After opening the file here, you can see the development mode. 
You can directly enable the development mode for the personal users. You can add it or you can leave it. And here's the framework selection for the server. As I am using the QB core, you can also leave it to auto. Detect it will automatically detect the framework target and vehicle key. Same goes to the inventory. Still, I'll show you the configuration that I am having. I am using the QB core framework and doing the aux target variation. After that, we are using renewed vehicle keys. As you can see, it has already supported multiple key system and multiple framework and target system without any issues. And we are using CDN fuel. Same goes to the inventory system. I am using the aux inventory. That's it. You don't need to change anything. And here you can see the item carries. It's not for our script, but still you can configure it for your default configuration. After that, you can test any type of compatibility issues based on the system that we are having. For multiple framework, you can, but still we don't need to change anything for the items because we are using the F7 command or triggering event command. So we don't need to add any item for. Now that's it, close the config. You don't need to change anything. And now you need to paste three of the script into your main server directory. After pasting it, you are good to go without any issue. Now let's see how the DevHub GG skill tree works in game and make sure we are using this exclusive version that provide us special features like skill generation, adding new skills, providing extra powers and multiple script support features. So make sure to avail the discount and purchase the script. Now let's see how the script works in game. Hey guys, here you can see I am in game. The DevHub skill tree is working properly without any issue. Now you need to press F7 or use slash command to open the skill menu. I will just press F7. Here you can see after pressing F7, the skill tree is working properly. Here you can see. Also, if you are using our exclusive version, you will get a special feature. Like here you can see you can directly configure the existed skill tree or make a new skill tree. So I'll make a new skill tree and show you how you can make one. So also I'll show you the unlocking features of this. So I have put some points to unlock them. Here you can see the proper animations are there without any issue. Same goes to the strength, so the abilities. You can see everything is working properly. Also, if you are using their gym system, I'll suggest you to use the gym system with their skill tree. So you'll get some special features on their gym script. So I'll go make a new category. Click on generate new and provide a name. I'll just make a new gun category. So I'll name it weapon and I need to make a pattern for the box. I'll just click over here. Here you can see the multiple details are there. So you can also move the panel without any issues. Also, you can see, first of all, the skill UI ID. You can directly copy the UI ID. Second is the unlocking point. How much points should be there to unlock this point? And third is the skill name. What should be the skill name? So I'll provide the name of class one class one so also you can provide the image or any type of icon so for that i will provide the gun and here you can see the gun icon is popped up also you can provide any type of image url from discord or five managers where you can find just copy it and paste it here you can i'll show you about that so in main is the image or gif if you are hovering to this you can see as proper animation or videos running so you can paste this here of course, I don't have the any type of GIF at this moment, but I'll show you with the image for now. I am normally using the Discord image ID. After that, you need to provide this proper description, provide a HTML source for this. So I'll provide the proper description over like you can. So I'll just provide it that you can get a class one weapon. Also, you can select the name of this. I'll just give the name of class one. Here you can see he is working properly. Class one. Also, you can provide the effect without any issues. I'll just provide the level one effect. After that, we'll start making the content. Next should be there. And I'll just make the one liner to read one line or two. So I will now fast forward this part to make it quickly. Now here I will show you after creating the class pyramid, I will show you how you can easily configure them. So for that, I will just configuring the class three. I am providing the skill name to class three class. Three after that, the image should be that I am giving it is the AK-47 or assault rifle. And for the GIF, I am not giving any type of GIF. But if you want, you can give the GIF for the animations in the description. You can use the class three weapon via this skill. And same goes to the selection class. Three in the effect should be the level five. 
And of course, you can select the unlockable amount for that. You can directly lock them if you want to, or you can also make it unlock without any issue. After that, I'll directly do the quick configuration for other skill. Then I'll show you the unlocking every skill, proper generation, and saving them via config. Now I'll just fast forward the video. Here you can see I created all the categories with proper class system as a temporary base to show you. Now I'll click on generate and save it to your clipboard. Now it's saved in my clipboard. Now I'll show you the proper code interaction where you need to paste it. So for that, I am switching my screen. Here you can see you need to open the config.skill.elua, then scroll it down a little bit. Now you need to press enter and paste it out here. You can see all the configurations saved in my clipboard. Here you can see now, just click save and open your server and restart the script after restarting the script. It will be working and showing you properly the demonstration. Now here you can see, I restarted the script and here you can see the weapon tab and gym tab. Both are there and we are created the weapon tab. You can see the proper weapon systems are there. I added the image for the preview. You can also add this GIF for the preview without any issue. And also you can defaultly lock it. Still, you can also configure it with the required point that I shown you previously in my installation video for the configuration you need to do just a basic work that you done and it will start increasing your XP. I'll show you the unlocking procedure. Also, first of all, I need to add some XP for that. Now I'll show you the proper animation that I told you. For that, we need to add the point. It's a custom command. You can get the snippet from my Discord also, and you can also get the snippet from their Discord also. So just type add point. You can find the proper UI has popped up. Place the player ID, select the category as we are selecting the weapon. Select XP or point. Of course, we will choose the point. I will just add one point to show you as I already added multiple. Now press F7, go to the weapon tab. We already have nine plus points. Now I will show you the proper animations. Here you can see we unlocked it without any issue. We can now directly unlock this also, or this one. You can see the animations are different than other ones. M goes to here. You can see everything is unlocked. And when I created ISOU, I logged this. So it shows like that. If you've logged any type of skill in your server, you can easily do it without any issue. That's it, guys. Hope you like our video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.